Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, Washington. Delta Dental is on a mission. Our state has a lot to smile about, and we think those smiles should be healthy and bright. That's why we support our Cora Foundation Smilemobile. This dental office on wheels provides checkups and oral health education to communities that need it most. The Smilemobile has reached over 44,000 children and families across Washington. See how the Smilemobile is getting us closer to a 100% cavity-free state at cavityfreewa.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 K-I-S-W, The Rock of Seattle. Okay, well, um, listen, I know we're playing rock music, Steve, but it looks like I might have to make a change, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, smooth jazz? I got, no, this is the, that's the worst thing I could be doing. Oh, oh don't I say mean, that to Kenny G. He's a local icon. He is a local <laughs> icon. I don't want Kenny G driving, though, because there's a study that just came out and said that if you're listening to Kenny G while you're driving, you're, you're a dangerous driver. You could be a problem. Why? Because it puts you to sleep? Yeah, uh, it, it turns out really, this is amazing. You know, uh, I swear that the hip hop, the 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 hip hop uh, cultural commission and the coffee cultural commission have basically funded this study so that people will only listen to hip hop and only drink coffee before they get behind the wheel because they're saying that's the best thing you can do if you want to be an alert driver. Drink drink your coffee and listen to hip hop. You'll be the best driver ever. So. I, I would love to be a part of like the people who come up with these studies. Like, how do they even figure this out? Would they get the same guy and just put him in a car and either jack him up on coffee or on uh, a little Nas X or something like that? I don't understand. Uh, a little Nas X should be making coffee. Is really what needs to happen. Okay, yeah, with <laughs> Satan's blood. Yeah, like his <laughs> shoes. Yeah, they're saying that uh, it, before you get in the car, if you drink a strong cup of coffee and if you listen to rap music. They will have the biggest impacts on your driving. I mean, they're saying that people stop an average of 26 yards earlier when they spotted something in the road than people who didn't drink coffee. And I could see that just because, you know, I mean, coffee is like any like an energy drink. It kind of like it perks you up. So you're not like you're not fading when you're driving. I could, well, I, they that didn't makes even, sense. They didn't even say energy drinks unless they didn't put them in the study. But, you know, that's a really good point, Steve. Are they saying coffee's more effective than energy drinks? Because you'd think that that's something they would put in the study. But I don't see anything about energy drinks in here. It's too bad because uh, either way, you want the best in your system. That's why they're saying rap. People stop 16 yards further when they see something in the road, uh, listening to rap music over not listening to music or any other music. Yeah, that's what they're saying. So, I mean, look, I, I, I just wa- love how, how absurd and, and awesome this study is. So now yeah, I, really I got to change my playlist because I have like a playlist of like driving stuff and it's like Motley Crue or like, you oh, know, like nice, like upbeat stuff, Metallica. So now, now not, I got to toss in there uh, Juice World and yep. uh, and Tupac. Yeah, a little bit of old school and new school. There you go. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Now, Steve, you are a lucky man because there's a third thing that eventually is going to happen to you. Might even be happening right now that will make you an excellent driver. So, so you, so you got the wrap down. You got the coffee down. Mm -hmm. The third thing would be the lovely little tater tot. She needs the wrap. Uh, Well, listen, you know what? I mean, she little tot. Little tot. 
I like this. Yeah. She, little, she, she little, took a sip of her mom's coffee yesterday, so I was a little like, oh boy, we're oh. in the yeah, She had iced coffee, and she just goes over there, grabs it, puts her mouth on it, and just starts <laughs> drinking it. And I was like, no, you're yeah. already wired as it is. <laughs> I think she got like a half a sip in before we pulled it away. Buzz, little, baby. <laughs> little coffee talk. She knows what's up. She's definitely a Seattleite. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she went right for the coffee, so you know that she's a Seattle kid. And then There's, she just put on Travis Scott, she was just singing along to it. She doesn't even speak, but she's able to rap, BJ. It's crazy. Thanks well, to she's, Ashley, she said. Send us the history of rap by children's book. So, oh, uh, perfect. Why. Yeah. Well, she's getting ready to drive. You ought to just let Tatum take the wheel. Yeah, she knows what's it. up. I mean, she just naturally fell, fell in line with this study. <laughs> it turns out that noisy children in your vehicle actually had people stop 14 yards earlier than people that have no noise in their car. That the noisy kids actually make you more alert. That, which I think is insane because I always this, thought that they were the biggest distraction ever. Like, I'll turn this car around. Turns out those kids yeah, go, oh, no, you won't. I'm, I'm making you a safe driver. But those kids aren't putting you to sleep. They're probably giving you anxiety. So you're a little bit more on edge. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And you're not so, stopping because of the car in front of you. You're stopping so you could throw something in the back. Knock it off. Or take your belt off like my grandpa would. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm not huh? quite that bad. I got a pool noodle now in my, my car. You're hitting him with a pool noodle? Well, he thinks it's funny. <laughs> okay, well, I think it's funny. I, I know gave it to g- him. He was hitting me, and then I hit him back. Okay, what? While you're, dri- you know what, Vicky, not you're while not I'm driving. Re- oh, okay. while I'm pulled over and then hitting him. <laughs> okay, that sounds even right. better. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, good old sibling rivalry. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What's a big yeah. sister for? Yeah, that's. Uh, you know what? You're doing a great job uh, with your parenting skills. There, I'm very proud of you. I'm a big sister. I can mess up as much as I want. Okay, you know what? Uh, listen, I, but I don't like the idea, though, that this study is saying that we've got to be jacked up and out of our minds in order to be better drivers. Well, I, don't, I don't know if they're saying you have to be out of your mind jacked up. They just said, you know, maybe have some caffeine in your system and listen to something upbeat. I would imagine that the, that rock music would work maybe as good or almost as good as hip hop. But as long as you're not listening, like you said, like Kenny G or Smooth Jazz. Like that kind of stuff. Which I, I never got how my dad. I remember there was a radio station, CD one hundred one point nine in New York, <laughs> and it was like just bad saxophone music. I would call it. It was all the cheesy elevator music, and oh, I'm like, yeah. how are you not falling asleep while driving and listening to this? Like it put me to sleep in the back seat. All well, that's probably why he put. There you me. go. Yep. Yeah, found the answer. answer. Got you the found answer. your answer. <laughs> I answered also, my own question. Also, your father might be well hyper jacked. Anyway, we see we, we, we he's had some examples where he's mm-hmm. flown off the handle, and you even at his age, I'm very surprised at how quickly he can just like spring into his kind of action. But he would get tired of driving because my mom's job was to have lifesavers in her. Her purse and every once in a while, like while he's driving, you could just tell he put his hand and goes Roseanne, and then she'd pull a lifesaver and drop it in his hand, and then, that's, that's a, a great team that's right amazing. there. Amazing. <laughs> And uh, you know what you need, you, and you need popcorn, or you fall asleep during TV and movies. So I mean, like father, like son. Yeah, but I don't go Sydney. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, you know exactly. This is the weekend where it starts. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sydney lifesavers. Yeah. <laughs> and I got news for you. Put if on you some like, Biggie Smalls and give me a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if you're at church and all of a sudden she sees you start nodding off, she's just going to start handing them to you anyway because she doesn't want to be embarrassed with her sleeping husband at the church. So, yeah, uh, if that hasn't already happened, oh, she hasn't oh, been seeing you. It happens every time we go to church. There yes. we go. <laughs> so she doesn't even have to, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to say Sydney. She's just feeding you anyway because she snacks. knows. Fruit snacks. <laughs> Amen. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, it's like father, like son. And by the way, then explain to me this. If you don't have to be jacked up, what are the noisy, because the noisy kids always jack me up. It drove me crazy as a driver. Yeah. And they're saying noisy kids make you more effective at stopping. That's just, I, this study is, this study's insane. Well, I don't think you're, you're, you're not going to get drowsy when you have an annoying kid in the background. That's true. Y- yeah, well, you know what, then my father really should have really loved me a lot more than he said he did because I was I was the best for his driving. Well, uh, we got a woman. This is, the, the, the again, it just keeps getting more bizarre. We got a woman that was attacked by a flying turtle. Yeah, Steve will tell you all about this. He got the mix report for you at 620 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. 
Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, Washington. Delta Dental is on a mission. Our state has a lot to smile about, and we think those smiles should be healthy and bright. That's why we support our Cora Foundation Smilemobile. This dental office on wheels provides checkups and oral health education to communities that need it most. The Smilemobile has reached over 44,000 children and families across Washington. See how the Smilemobile is getting us closer to a 100% cavity-free state at cavityfreewa.com. We all remember that one professor, the one everyone on campus had to take no matter what subject they taught because how much fun their class was. What if we told you there was a streaming service that had all those professors? One Day University has every must-have professor from the best colleges all across the country. One Day University, the most fun talks from the most fun professors. Available live and on demand. No homework, just the most fun you'll have while learning. Get a special offer at onedayu.com slash odyssey. 99.9 KISW The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Migs. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks to Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical. Stop freaking. Carl Beacon. Also, stop freaking and enjoy the Earth today. Today's National Earth Day. Yay. Oh, yeah, Happy right. Earth Day. I guess it's in internet. It's, it's Earth Earth Day. It's World Earth Day. Makes sense. It's, it's the, the day whole of world. world. Yeah. It'd be weird if part of the Earth wasn't celebrating Earth Day. Yeah, Canada yeah. doesn't celebrate it. It's very odd. Yeah. <laughs> very, very weird. Like, you know, Canada, you know, you're part of the Earth, right? Yeah. So enjoy your Earth today, everybody. I don't know what that means for you, but maybe listen to a little Dickie song, Earth, which is how I'm celebrating National Earth Day or World Earth Day. Happy oh, really? Day. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you watched it. It's the most ridiculous video ever. I put it up on my Twitter at I'm Steve Miggs, and it's just all these random pop stars animated to look like animals, and they're all saying they're animals. Like, I'm a zebra. I'm a baboon. And... And it's little Dicky doing his weird little Dicky rapping stuff, and then at, at some point there's Snoop Dogg, and instead of him being an animal, he's a marijuana plant. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Oh right. well, yeah, it, it, it makes complete sense to me now. It's a great time. So if you want to enjoy something, or maybe enjoy some jelly beans because it's also National Jelly Bean Day. Mm. <laughs> Are you a big <laughs> jelly bean fan? Uh, not really, but every once in a while I do like a jelly bean. I'm only, I only really, I only, I only get with jelly beans if they're available. Like if they're in front of me, there's a bowl of jelly beans. I'll probably have a couple, but I'll never go out of my way to buy jelly beans. I'm I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. But then when I get to have some, it's like, oh yeah, these are pretty tasty, which, you know, you're right, but I will never go buy them. Yeah. It's just, I see them at stores. I'm like, who's buying these? (laughs) People that give them to us and we go, hmm, that's not bad. All right. Let's talk about this woman in Florida. I'm, I don't even know what this would be like. I mean, I shared the story of the time where, uh, you know, a pipe went through my windshield and kind of freaked me out. Yeah. This person dealt with a turtle going through a windshield and hitting her in the face. Oh, no. Wow. Exactly. And the woman survived, thankfully. Hit her in the head. (laughs) Sorry, I'm a little caught up and emotional about this. Uh, Sent her to the hospital. Here's the crazy part. This turtle fly, they don't know how this turtle flew through the windshield in the first place because turtles don't typically fly. Uh, But they think maybe the turtle was hit by another car on on the road and it kicked it up and it flew. Oh, that Whoa. makes sense. And, you know, with the hard shell, it had no problem going through the windshield. The turtle's fine, thankfully. They they, they checked on the turtle, only had some scratches on its shell, a little shooken up, but, you know, it's going to be okay. So they took it back into the woods and let it out in the wild. And it hit her in the head. Hit her in the head. Whoa, so and she's okay. She's okay. Had a cut on her head, but, you know, nothing... Nothing that she's not going to heal from, thankfully. And her, her daughter was driving when all this happened and, and then called 911. And here's the call. So there's your emergency. I'm, well, I'm on interstate. We're on interstate 95. Something just came through the windshield and hit my mom in the head. Bear with me. We're getting this call up for service. Do we know what it was that hit her? I don't, just, I don't know. It, looked, it came through the front windshield? Yes. Do you see anything in my front seat? A turtle, yeah. A turtle? Yeah. A, uh, a turtle. An actual turtle? Oh, yeah, actual it was a turtle. turtle. Is what hit her? Yes, okay. Okay. We had a turtle come through the front windshield. Wow. That is, that's trippy. <laughs> that is, the, the, I would be like, what wow. the? Oh, man. 
Yeah, I mean, all I can say about this is wow. Wow. Yeah, that's really wow. all I can do. Yeah. I like turtles. Oh, yeah, I forgot no, about that. Kid. I don't think that woman does anymore. No, that's a good point. <laughs> Dude, these pranksters, they, their names are Archie and Josh. They're from London, and I actually think this is kind of a funny prank, and it didn't hurt anybody. I mean, they actually paid people back when it, it went a little further than they thought. They decided just to see how ridiculous they could be on Airbnb and if Airbnb pays attention to the rentals that people put up there for people to like stay at. So they just grabbed like a dollhouse and took a bunch of really nice pictures of the dollhouse to make it look like it was life size. Okay. But they even threw some Easter eggs in the background so at some points in these pictures you do see a full size water bottle in one of the rooms so you're like okay this is a little odd. Airbnb accepted the replica rental that they put up there and it was available for people to rent and they ended up getting about three thousand dollars worth of reservations for this dollhouse wow because people thought it was an actual place that they could stay at uh so eventually they're like yay it was a prank they they told all the people they returned the money to all the people that thought they were going to go stay there and they even gifted a couple people with a free hotel stay uh, to make up for it, because I guess a couple people are really upset about this prank. So are these guys, are they trying to be like internet, YouTube, some yeah. sort of stars? Yep, they're YouTube pranksters. That's what it is. Okay. Archie and Josh. Oh, Check them I know. Out. I don't know if you are a, someone that cares about this, but I thought it was kind of interesting because it's in the NFL and they just announced that you can actually wear different numbers than you usually aren't allowed to. They expanded the eligible jersey numbers. You know, because in college, some players wear numbers that they just can't wear in, in the NFL because it yeah. doesn't fit the criteria of the certain, you know, hey, quarterbacks can only wear from numbers one to whatever, like 19, I guess, is the deal. Yeah. So now, like, a, a running back could wear numbers 80 to 89. Well, that's weird because uh, that, 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 that's usually the receiver's numbers. Right, yeah. yeah. Wide receivers can still wear that as well. Wide receivers yeah. can wear numbers from numbers 1 to 49 or 80 to 89, including the running backs, uh, and a bunch of other stuff as well. But I thought the interesting part about all of this is that not only are we going to see some different numbers, if a player wants to wear a new number, but they're someone that has like jerseys for sale, they have to pay and purchase the stock of the, uh, the jerseys that they have available before they could change their number. What? That's what the NFL's making them do. Look, we got an overstock of your number, so sorry. Yeah, you're going to have to buy these out before we let you get a new one. Apparently, it's the thing that they, they've done before. So it, wow. it, this has been going on for a while, but typically people aren't really changing their numbers. Makes sense. But now someone might be like, I want my old college number. And like, okay, well, buy the existing inventory of all of your jerseys, and you can do that. Well, yeah, I, and I suppose if you donate them to somebody, you know, I, I guess that makes you even look better if you buy them. But then, you, then the people that got them said, "This is uh, this is great." I got Russell Wilson's number. Wait, wait, what? He what? He did what? What? He's not wearing three anymore. He wears sixty nine. That's crazy. Nice. Uh, yeah. I don't know if anybody still can't do that. Yeah, yeah probably. Can. A quarterback with number sixty nine would be so awesome, right? Yeah, quarterbacks can only go up to nineteen, and. I would imagine that it's going to suck for like you know like the kickers and the punters who probably like oh crap I thought I was safe with this number and now all of a sudden a, a random guy's like I want your number four I mean, what do you say no yeah I mean as the kicker you really probably don't have a lot of leeway there uh, Mariners big game today taking on your Boston Red Sox Woo, here PJ. we go here you we got go. your first place Red Sox taking on your second place Mariners now yesterday oh. they were tied for first but today they're no longer in first because well. The Oakland A's continue to win. It's ridiculous, yeah. man. They won like 13 to 12, I think, yesterday. Something along those lines. And now the Oakland A's are in first place. I so think they, they won their a- last 11 games. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, it doesn't suck. <laughs> no, it doesn't suck. <laughs> as far as weather, it's going to be 64 degrees, cloudy, and that's the major report. And that's what's up. Damn. Uh, yeah, big series. Four-game series. I'm excited. Yeah, four games. That could be a big difference maker. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's well, an early know, season difference maker. I mean, it's nice that really, you know, that when your team is playing and they are actually, you know, decent enough that you care. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the thing um, because I, I, you know, I, I actually they were talking about, you know, the uh, the Mariners on the Red Sox because I watch them a lot. So their announcers were previewing the series coming up, talking okay. about, and they of course had to bring up the fact that the last time what was it? It was two years ago when the Mariners just got off to that great start and then ended up almost losing a hundred games. Yeah. And the Red Sox were one of the teams that they played early and just swept them. And so they were, so the Red Sox remember the Mariners very well going, yeah, we were like one of the only teams that they destroyed that year. <laughs> yeah. Then it went downhill. I hope that's not, that's not the case this season. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Um, you know, only because I have been watching and going to Mariners games and, and, and watching them play the Red Sox. 
no matter what state the Red Sox have been in, the Mariners always play them well, uh, especially at, 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 you know, at, at T-Mobile Park. I have gone there and I think it's at least 500. Like they always at least win half of the games they play with the Red Sox pretty much every season. So unless, I think it's going to be a decent season based on history. Unless we all go as a show and then they always beat the Mariners because it's always like, it always yeah. feels like it's at the end of the game where we're all like just rubbing it in your face and then you get the last laugh. And I'm not happy about that. And it's the only game they win it, by the way. I should really just bring you to every game because when I go myself or I take Joey or Sarah, we're just sitting there going, Okay, great. I, well, you know what? We're getting our butts kicked. It's yeah. just like we need to bring the rest of the show because it's the only time they ever win. I don't you know. want to be your good luck charm for your stupid Red Sox. I know. Right? That's what's even better. A New York guy having to sit there and see a Boston team win. It's like it's it's double duty. You want to see the Mariners win and you don't want it. I got to bring you. Let's go, Steve. Why don't you come over to the house and watch the, uh, the games with me this weekend? I, I hear tickets are hard to get. And not to my house. I've actually <laughs> reduced prices. So you're in good shape. <laughs> my car is going to be in the shop this weekend. Good call. Ah, good call. Dang it. Yes. All right. Fine. Well, there you go. Uh, yesterday, Steve, uh, he did get this one wrong. <laughs> what two months are named after men? Two months and named after men. Um, <laughs> April? <laughs> yeah. June? No. May and April? No. <laughs> May and March? No. Of, you know, really, of all the months where he picks a name and named after men, he picks a month where traditionally that name is given to a woman, April. Uh, you know what? You or May. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And well, May, of course. I didn't think and, and April made much sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh yeah, you I mean out of all the months you pick, you pick the two months that they probably wouldn't be the ones that I was were just trying to think of men. ones that sound like names and December didn't yeah, seem to make the cut. Yeah, December you're right, but you know what, July and August, uh, Julius and uh, Augustus, how about that? Ah, look at those Romans, they're still giving back. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you want a shot of beating Steve? You got it. <laughs> 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.